Team, we're firing up the brand new Pit Boss Mile Hybrid Propane and Pellet Grill Combination Grill. We're gonna throw some steaks on. You're gonna wanna stick around for this one. What's up everybody? Welcome to Cooking with CJ. Welcome to my backyard, so glad you're here. The last video I did, we did the burn in on the new Mile Hybrid uh, Propane Pellet Grill Combination Grill from Pit Boss. And I'll put a link for that right up here so you guys can check it out if you'd like. Now we're gonna do what this is meant for. We're gonna give it a little smoke with the pellet side and then we're gonna sear it off with some high temps using the propane side, all right? I already got a couple rib eyes out. We're keeping it simple today. Just using a little of that garlic salt pepper mix from pit boss themselves we let it kind of sit in that seasoning for about an hour or so just to kind of let it marinate a little bit we're gonna reverse sear these steaks take them up to about 120 we'll pull them out let them rest for a minute pat them dry and then we're gonna fire up that propane side put the burners on high and then we're gonna sear off them steaks real nice and that's gonna be it come on over to this pit boss let's get the pellets hopping in from the hopper all right, get them fired up. <laughs> Come on back. Turn that bad boy on. We're gonna go ahead and prime it because I haven't used the pellet hopper yet. We're gonna prime it, get those things going. We've primed it. We're getting some of that white smoke. We're gonna let that burn off and then we'll throw our steaks in. All right, team, we got some clean smoke rolling on that bad boy with those pellets. Now it's time to get the steaks on. I'm gonna use one temp probe in there. We're gonna take them to 120. Like I said, we'll take them off, sear them off using the propane side, get that heat all the way up. It's gonna be good stuff, guys. Right, let's get these steaks on. I'm gonna feed the probe through the little porthole right there. Got my two ribeyes going on. I'm just gonna throw them on the top rack right here. It'll take no time at all. Go ahead and get that probe in. It's about the middle. Pull the slack back, shut it down. Bring you back when we're up to temp. Team, we got it up to temperature. What I do is when I start this bad boy up, I'll keep it on combo smoke just to get the smoke rolling, get the pellets rolling after we prime it. But once I actually get done with that step, I'll move it to the temp settings, low, medium, high. For medium, it's about 275. I figured that's good enough for the steaks that we're cooking. I took the probe wire out of the way to show you, but that's where we're at right now. We'll plug this probe wire back in so you can see a little bit better or so you can see the temp. All right, so right now our steak's temping out at 75. All right, so we got a little way to go, but that's kind of the steps that I take on this one. Once we get to about 120 on that, again, I'll remove the steaks. I'll turn it to the gas setting. We'll fire up the propane side. We'll turn the knobs to high setting. Let it come up the temperature in there to four or 500 degrees, right? And then sear off the steaks. So one thing you're gonna have to get used to is this is actually kind of more of an analog style. Uh, temperature controller. So like I said, it has low, medium, and high. Keep it about medium, it'll be about 275. And this is just for the pellet setting. If you uh, you know, move it up to high, you go into the 300s, go low, it'll be in the low 200s, okay? So 200s, you know, high 200s, and then uh, threes, okay? When you get into using the propane with it and fire up that gas grill, then you can blow out the temperatures to over 500 degrees, okay? So keep that in mind as you're, you know, working through this. It's a more of an analog controller, but you can dial it in. You got temperature readings, you have your probes, you'll be solid, okay? Steaks are up to temperature on the probe here. I am gonna give them a check with my instant read thermometer. Guys, I did a limited run on making my own instant read thermometers. I preach these whether you're in the kitchen or outside on the barbecue. If you guys wanna get yourself one, I'll put a link down below to my website. You grab one. Otherwise, let's check the temps on these and then we'll fire up the propane burners, get, get that sear on. Sorry about the bad lighting in there, 120. This one's a little thinner, so it'll be, yeah, 130. Pull this probe out, get these steaks on a platter right here. Okay, we'll shut down the lid here. I'm gonna turn this over to gas. Go ahead and get that gas can open. Burners turned to high. Go ahead and light it. Electrical ignition, fired it up. We're gonna get these steaks on and get them seared up right after this gets to about 400, 450 in that range. All right, team, it came up the temp pretty quick in there. Let's get those All steaks right, guys. On. Let's get these on there. Nice sizzle going. Only take a couple minutes aside. We'll do a little flip every minute or so. Apologize for the bad lighting, but where I set up my pit today, there was no uh, sun out. The clouds were covering. Now the sun is out. So you gotta deal with a little bit of weird shadows. You get the idea. This one on the left, 
Let's get a nice sear on it. It's a little thinner, so it'll be done before the, the thick boy over here on the right. So we gave it a flip already. This will be done in no time. All right, I took off the thin one. We're still working on the thick boy right here. We got a nice sear going on these. Give it a little bit more time and we'll pull it off. Team, our steak is ready in a really crappy uh, <laughs> shadow, but it's ready. Let's get it off and get it on a cutting board, let it rest, then we'll cut into it. Okay, we've let it rest. Let's go ahead and cut this off the bone. Charlie's like dying over here. He's ready for that little meaty bit right there. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I did not nearly let this rest long enough. So that's why you're seeing a lot of those juices run. But I'm only human and I wanted some steak. <laughs> Got a nice pink in there. Got some nice color on the outside. It's good to go. But again, don't roast me in the comments. I know I cut it too soon. Couldn't wait. It is what it is. Y'all, we're done. Let's take a little bite. It's good stuff. I mean, it's steak, well, it's not the love. These were some dry aged ribeyes that I actually had in the freezer, defrosted them, got them on the pit, got some good smoke. You guys are getting that wood fire flavor. You're also getting a nice sear from that propane. It's what this thing was designed for. We're gonna do a few more cooks on it. I think the next one we'll do a, we'll do a big old tri-tip on there, but Bird's going wild over there. But as far as this one goes, we are done. If y'all wanna get yourself one of these pits, I'll put links down below. I'll uh, put a link to that Pit Boss Rub if you guys wanna get some of that stuff. Just a little salt, pepper, garlic. Links to my merch, to the thermometer I showed you guys. All will be down below. If you guys wanna become a show producer like all these fine people right here, please hit that join button and it's right next to the subscribe button down below, which you should have already hit. Other than that, we are done. Listen, I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful week. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for cooking with CJ. Take care.